120, 120, 120, 120. That's all you hear. Hustle, bustle, right? Just five minutes away from the Bangalore Central Station is the KR Market, also known as, more popularly as, the City Market. All I look around is just fresh fruits. You can come here and bargaining is the key. Parking, forget about it. So what I suggest, take a taxi here or a car or a rickshaw, get off and you can take this whole market because there's no parking here at all. looking for really good vegetables and a lot of good fruit and the best seasonal produce this is it look I am in heaven fabulous potatoes look you can make a nice smooth skin beautiful color not very high on starch great potatoes to make chips definitely if you want to know something really exciting about potatoes just ask me in 1790 a huge battle took place here but believe me it's still like a battlefield because everybody is just hustling, bustling, haggling and getting the best of things. Do you want to know what Asia's largest flower market looks like? Come on, follow me! Now tell me, isn't this amazing? I feel I'm just walking through this whole psychedelic colors of these beautiful flowers. Everything is about freshness, it's about the sense of the urgency and everything. Time is money in this market because every minute the prices of flowers go up and down, almost like Nasdaq. Wow, look at this scale. Look at these gorgeous colors and plenty of flowers. Flowers go to various countries from this market. You can also come and locally shop for flowers. In South India, everybody prays in the morning. Everybody offers flowers to the gods. It's a very, very big time ritual here. So there is always a local demand for flowers as well. This seems to be the place where if you want anything in cast iron, dosa plates, kadais, fryers, this is where all hoteliers and restaurants and caterers come to buy all the equipment here because here you can get some really good things which are actually made with pure cast iron as you can see and the quality is top class. If you want to know what kind of kitchen equipment is available in the city market, just ask me. So today we are going to be making a really cool peanut chutney. People in the south of India, they normally have it with, with vadas and fritters and all that jazz. I like to serve this chutney with almost everything. If you want to know this really cool recipe about a peanut chutney, just ask me. So I've got a nice hot wok into which I'm going to quickly first dry roast some peanuts, some chana dal, okay, along with some sesame seeds and some grated dried coconut or copra as we call it. So very lightly I'm going to mix these up. I don't want to burn them, I don't want to color them too much. Job done. Next, we're going to add a little bit of oil into the wok, to which I've got some dried red chilies in here, some curry leaves which I'm going to quickly stir fry. So nicely, just almost till these red chilies start kind of getting puffed up, that's exactly when you have to take these out. I'm going to be adding it into my mix. I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt to this. I'm going to be adding a little bit of tamarind, thori si imli. And I'm going to be using some good, yani ke jaggery. So I'm going to mix it all up. We're going to blend these up in a mixer. We have a lot of fritters in our country, in our recipes. Yani ke pakodas, bhajiyas, bondas. Vada pav, the works. Now, I came across this very interesting recipe where they're actually using cucumbers. Yes, cucumbers to make these beautiful fritters which I thought would really go well with my chutney. So if you want to know anything about cucumber fritters or any other fritters, just ask me. I've got 
a cucumber which I've really grated well, to which I've added a little bit of salt, left it for about half an hour, and then I've squeezed all the water out. So I'm going to be adding the cucumbers into this bowl. Some chopped onions going in here, chopped ginger, chopped coriander, chopped curry leaves. Going to give that a little mix. And now to this, we have to add some kind of flour in order for us to get the fritters. I have some rava or suji as we call it, which has been very lightly roasted. Suji gives a very nice crispy feeling to your fritters. And then I have some rice flour, okay, which I'm going to be putting, which has also been lightly toasted but not coloured. I'm going to give this a little mix. A little bit of salt for sure, thori si haldi, a little bit of red chilli powder and I'm just going to be adding not too much but just a touch of water. I'm going to be mixing it together nicely. This is not exactly a batter but I'm making actually a little dough which I'm going to be getting into small shapes, okay, and then frying it in this oil which I have already here. Now you have to make sure that the oil is pretty hot. So I'm going to do a bit of a trial, beautiful. So the oil is nice and hot, to which I'm going to be adding these, a few more fritters here. Now once these start rising to the top, it means our cucumber fritters are almost ready. If you want to make them even more lighter and more aerated, you would be adding a bit of soda bicarbonate into this which will make them even fluff a little more but these are pretty light and next I am going to be serving this with my beautiful peanut chutney if you want to know anything about cucumber fritters with peanut chutney just ask me hey guys hope you enjoyed the video if you want to watch more of fresh and local just subscribe to the ask me guru